Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Anash. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to trade the pullback and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about pullbacks. Watch this video carefully until the end because this video can help you to take the wise decision in financial markets. Let's begin. As you can see here, Bitcoin price is $47,000 and it's quite sad actually, but it doesn't matter because we are here for other purposes. As you can see here, we had a pullback for Bitcoin. Okay, how can we trade this pullback? How can we trade it like a professional? The first thing you need to know is that we have two types of pullbacks. The first type, a pullback to the dynamic support or resistance area. The second thing is the pullback to the static support or resistance area, which is going to be this one. Okay, you need to know about this, that we have two types of pullbacks when i see something like this and you know when i see a breakout like this and I'm, I'm not just jumping into the trade and i start trading all of a sudden i'm going to draw this trend line on lower time frames for example right now this trend line uh, is for one hour time frame i'm going to check 15 minute time frame and after the breakout from this bearish trigger line I am going to enter buy position here. I am going to set my stop loss below this support line. Okay. And I'm going to wait for higher levels in Bitcoin. And as you can see, it, it's working really, really nicely. You can trade the pullbacks. You know, the first way to trade the pullbacks is drawing trigger lines. Okay. You can draw it and you can trade carefully. For example, let me give you a live example. We had a potential resistance area here. After that, it was a support here, as you can see. And if rice moves up, and if we see this level, uh, I'm going to enter, for example, one hour time frame, and I'm going to draw a trigger line. After the breakout, I'm going to enter short position, and I'm going to uh, wait for lower prices for Bitcoin. This is the first way that you can trade Bitcoin and uh, other things in financial markets. Uh, you can draw trigger lines. The second way is going to be setting orders. Okay, some people, when the price is moving up, they will set orders on $49,300. and dollars They will enter short position here. Okay, and they have a small stop loss, but the take profit is really big. Okay, this is the another way in order to enter buy or sell position in the pullbacks. You can set orders. For example, on the previous example, which was this area, we had a breakout. And when you are having a pullback, you can set buy order here. And your stop loss is going to be really small somewhere around here. But, but your take profit is going to be quite big. So this is another way in order to trade pullbacks in financial markets. Don't forget that we have a different kind of pullbacks in cryptocurrencies and other financial markets. For example, we have pullbacks to moving averages. 100 day moving average was a strong support line here. And after the breakout, you can see we have a pullback to the 100 day moving average. You can enter short position on one hour time frame up here okay you can go there on one hour time frame you can draw this trigger line and after the breakout you can enter short position and after that price is going to see lower levels and you can make profit from it okay so we have a different kind of pullbacks we have pullbacks to the uh, trend lines we have pullbacks to the static support and resistance areas we have pullbacks to the moving averages we have pullbacks to the channels you know when you break uh, below the channel you are going to see some pullbacks okay so we have pullbacks to everything and you can actually use this technique in order to trade the pullbacks like a professional and you can actually enter buy position on lower time frames too right here on one hour time frame is going to be more clear for Bitcoin. This area was a potential support for Bitcoin. As you can see here, it was a potential support. And right now we are having a breakout, okay? 
I myself, I can enter uh, cell position or short position somewhere around here. I can set my stop loss above here and I can wait for lower levels. Okay. Uh, this technique is going to work when you set orders. Your stop loss is going to be really, really small, but your take profit is going to be down here. It's going to be really big and you know it was risky if you are not a professional trader i recommend you to draw trigger lines i recommend you to wait for some confirmations after that you can either uh, buy or sell position but if you are professional you can set your orders when you are quite certain about uh, the trend and about what is going to happen but the best kind of pullback is going to be the pullback to the static areas okay for example here on forty thousand dollar we had a resistance after the breakout it was a support after that it was a resistance resistance and as you can see we had a breakout from here okay and when you are having the pullback to this level you can check one hour time frame let's go back and check one hour time frame here yes it's here and you can draw this trend line after the breakout you can enter buy position and you, you and you can make a huge amount of profit okay the wisest way in order to trade in financial markets is trading weekly and monthly pullbacks on daily and four hour time frames for example here we had a, a weekly uh, support here and we and we could enter buy position on one hour or four hour time frame okay we could make a lot of profit from it and the wisest way to trade in financial market is the way i have explained to you in order to make a huge amount of profit let me find another example about it so when we check euro dollar on lower time frame this area was a support area on weekly time frame and this area is a four hour time frame resistance okay and if we break above this level i'm going to enter buy position in the pool max okay and i'm going to set my stop loss below this level i'm going to set my potential take profit all the way up here why because this first blue line this one is a weekly area and this weekly area can bounce the price to the upside to the moon actually okay so that's the way you can trade with pullbacks in financial markets and also for example on four hour time frame if you break above this level so i'm going to check 15 minute time frame too and when price is uh, going to go up i'm not going to do anything when we are having the pullback on 15 minute time frame i'm going to draw my trend line here and after the breakout from this uh, red trend line I'm going to enter buy position here. I'm going to set my stop loss below this level. And you know, my stop loss is for 15 minute time frame, but my take profit is going to be weekly time frame. It's going to be pretty huge somewhere around up here. Okay. It's going to have a strong bounce because the weekly time frame is quite strong and can bounce the price to the upside. You know, somewhere around here is going to be the potential take profit area i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget that this video is not a financial advice and i am not your financial advisor this video is made with educational purposes see you later